to make smooth subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro, first let's create transcription. You can type word by word manually or use the automatic caption feature of Adobe Premiere Pro. Just go to the project panel and select your clip, right click and choose generate transcription. Choose your audio language and press OK. Now go to the text panel. If it is not visible, just go to the windows and select text. That way it would be visible somewhere. By now it should have generated transcription, otherwise it may take little time depending on the length of your clip. Now click on this CC button which stands for closed caption and follow these settings. Click on this arrow. Let the format be default subtitle. Move the maximum length of character slider to the left and the minimum duration to be 1.6. Let the lines to be double and click create captions. This will generate the captions and it will be visible on the top here in the timeline. But now these captions look boring. So let's customize it. Go to the essential graphics and select edit. Change the desired font. I take Nexa black here. Now select John to be center and then move it little bit down with the help of this. Now change the font size to 100. Check the stroke, change the color to black and increase stroke width to 13. Now click here to make it all caps. Move the caption position even below if you feel so. Now click on redefine style and press OK. If you play it then you will see that the style is not same for all the captions. Their size and position all are different from what we have created for the first caption. So let's fix it. Draw a selection around all the captions to select them all and choose John to center and move these captions down with the help of this one. Then click here to make all caps. Now if we go back and check, all the captions are same. Good. Here we cannot apply any effects on the caption tracks. So we need to convert them to the normal text graphics. For that, once again select all the captions and go to the graphics and title and choose upgrade captions to graphics. Now go to the effects panel and search for morph cut. Drop this between two captions and grab one of the end and lower its duration to about 5 frames. It will start analyzing it and will give you this result. Now the challenge is to apply this to all the subtitles. Doing it manually by dropping on each subtitle will take forever. So what to do? Is there any easy way? Well, yes. Let me show you. Go to the file, preference and choose timeline. Here set the default transition duration to 5 frames and press OK. Now go to the effects panel and right click on this transition and select set as default transition. Now select all the captions track or subtitles track by drawing selection with mouse and press Ctrl or Command plus D. This will apply this transition to all the captions or subtitles. Now let it analyze and you will get a result like this. Wait, there is more. We need to spice it up a little bit more. So create a new adjustment layer, drop it over captions and trim like this where it covers both these subtitles and the transition. Now go to the effects panel and search Gaussian Blur. Drop it over the adjustment layer, go to the effects control panel, come down and place your playhead at the end of the transition on the second subtitle and add a keyframe. Now go back to the cut and increase the blur length to the desired value. In this case it is like this. And change the orientation to horizontal only. And if you play it now, see we get this cool motion blur on the subtitles. Now copy the adjustment layer and place it on all the subtitles like this and adjust the keyframes if there is a need. And here is our final result, cool smooth subtitles in Premiere Pro. And if you want to learn how to accelerate your video export in Premiere Pro, check out this video.